I'm trying to work out what what's driving him, right? He's made a big pitch about being the boy from Housing Commission Flat, single mother, and I thought it was a great... In fact, I recommended when he was uh, running for the leadership that he stick that in his speeches. I said, you've got to make more of it. I didn't realise he'd make this much of it, but anyway, put that to one side. Look, I don't come from a rich uh, family myself, but I do wonder sometimes whether... Coming from that background, Albanese is giving the vibe of a boy that's made good to even his own surprise and that it's gone to his head, he's giddy with it, and that's why, for instance, the Chinese think that they can flatter him by calling him a handsome boy and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, look, the silver service on Toto 1 uh, at 40,000 feet is probably pretty good from a boy from Housing Commission. Um, uh, but that said, he's had 27 years in Parliament and he's now a rich person. Uh, he has a multi-million dollar rental portfolio. Uh, he is a long way distant from his time as being a kid in the Housing Commission. And that trapping of office and trapping of wealth is reflecting on his out-of-touchness in terms of what he's trying to deal with in terms of cost of living for everyday Australians. But is that but what's driving this? I'm not. I'm still not 100 percent sure. I get what's driving it because he, he said he wanted to do cost of living. He said he's a, a boy from the housing commission. His heart is his heart's with the working class, but it's not translating. Because cost of living is a hard job. Um, the person who's doing the job for Albanese is Jim Chalmers. Jim Chalmers is actually every single day doing what he can as Treasurer of Australia, but he's got one hand tied behind his back because the Prime Minister's not at the Prime Ministerial desk. He's at someone else's desk having a state reception or being fated. Uh, we need a Prime Minister back in Australia dealing with the number one Australian issue, which is cost of living. Well, I think he'll be back in Australia a lot more now. I think he's been burnt on the travel. You mentioned Jim Chalmers. What do you think uh, some of his colleagues would be thinking, particularly people with an eye to the leadership themselves? Jim Chalmers, Tony Burke, Tanya Plibersek. Jim Chalmers, without doubt, has put his name forward for a future Labor leadership. Uh, if you're a betting person, he's short price favourite to be the next Labor leader because he's doing the work that matters. He's there on the ground dealing with cost of living. And last weekend's glossy magazine piece was simply the start of that campaign for leadership. Are you saying, therefore, that the leadership is becoming in play now? Uh, look, I, I think there's been enough uh, backroom chats between backbenchers and frontbenchers that I hear around Canberra that people are worried about where the Prime Minister's taking the Labor Party. They're worried about his plummeting numbers and they're worried that Peter Dutton, who is, according to the Albanistas, unelectable, now looks like he's competitive. But how serious do you think that is? I mean, there's always going to be leadership ch uh, chatter. Uh, every prime minister has to deal with that. Do you think it's going to lead to something? Because I just wonder... Uh, I just think, Cameron, for Albanese, it's almost all downhill from here. You've got inflation not coming down as it should. You've got cost of living being a real problem. You've got electricity prices. That promise is not going to be met. I'm just trying to think where the easy wins are for him to actually get himself back in the game. So I just wonder whether this could prove a long slide downhill for, for him and maybe even, I don't know, you know, like I say, leadership trouble. Uh, well, his numbers are falling faster than a downhill skier at the moment in terms of rate of descent. What he needs to do is clear the diary. He should come up to Queensland and walk a shopping centre with Jim Chalmers. Jim Chalmers talks to people. Jim Ta Chalmers talks to people in his electorate. Albo should go along with Jim Chalmers this weekend at Logan Central and meet people doing it tough and actually hear their pain, hear their pain of the cost of living, 12 interest rate rises, 12 interest rate rises from this government already. He should be out there listening to people and hearing their pain in a shopping centre this weekend. Karen Milner, uh, hasn't escaped me that you've mentioned Jim Chalmers' name uh, quite often here. Uh, so uh, we shall see. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you for your time too, Andrew.